friends. Today, we're going to be doing sports. Call me Troy Bolton because my head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. That's right, the time has come yet again for March Musical Madness. This is our third annual bracket. I learned some more sports terms over the years. 16 musicals will compete head to head until they're eliminated down to one ultimate victor. And this year, we're doing a theme. It's really crazy to think that two years ago, nearly to the day, is when Broadway shut down. So today, we're going to be ranking the musicals that we've been talking about for the last two years to see who will be crowned the ultimate March Musical Madness winner of 2022. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Kat, I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. Not a real cult, also not real sports. Thanks to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Question of the day, who's at the top of your March Musical Madness bracket? Play along in the comments down below. Before we start doing sports, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor. Hi. This video is sponsored by Karma, the all-in-one digital shopping assistant that helps you shop smarter. Karma is an app and a Google Chrome extension that helps you save time and money automatically. It finds and applies coupon codes when you're online shopping, and they help you keep track of future purchases to make sure you're getting the best deal out there. Like right now, I'm about to move, so I've been doing a ton of online shopping and making lots of lists on Karma to make sure I'm getting the best price possible. Because if I can save money, I would like to. Please. Okay, so here's how it works. Just download the Chrome extension. Then when you're online shopping, open the Karma tab on the side of your screen to save an item. You can keep track of your saved items in multiple wish lists, and from there, get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. Plus, when you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and a good cause. And my favorite feature, when you're online shopping through the Chrome extension, Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them automatically at checkout. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Chrome extension. Visit shop.karmanow.com slash katherinesteel slash three slash 22. Again, that's shop.karmanow.com slash katherinesteel slash three slash 22. Thanks again to Karma for sponsoring this segment. And now, Back to the video. Okay, wait, did I mention that I don't know what the lineup's gonna be? I mean, I have an idea of what's probably on the bracket because it's what we've been listening to for the last two years, but I'm really curious to see what is behind me. So I'm gonna turn around in three, two, one. <laughs> Ratatouille and Bridgerton is the very first thing I saw. This one just says Taylor Swift. Hey, if Patty Lapone tweets about it, I guess it counts. Just the absolute back to back. Oh my gosh. These are so hard. Where do I even start? Okay, the prom on Netflix gave us Ariana DeBose in a leading role. It gave us Nicole Kidman in a musical. It gave us Meryl Streep and Keegan Michael Key. I can't believe that the prom happened during quarantine. Like, it feels like it was such a long time ago. I mean, it was. I personally feel like the movie was a really solid translation of the stage show, but all of this is to say that, of course, Come From Away is moving on. Oh no. What's shocking is that the green came off, not the ink. I'm feeling wicked. Back to the Future and Schmigadoon. Two musical pieces about getting stuck somewhere and trying to get back home. I'm really excited to see Back to the Future and I'm really curious about it. I've been following it for quite some time. That's a really interesting, fun concept for a musical. I know that we get a lot of adaptions nowadays. The trailer looks incredible. Everything I've heard about it has been incredible. I know it just got nominated for a whole bunch of things. I heard a song from it the other day and now I'm a little nervous. On that, I'm gonna have to move forward Schmigadoon. Okay, Dear Evan Hansen versus Diana. Here's the thing. I saw Dear Evan Hansen. I did not watch Diana, but everything I've heard about it, I think maybe just by default, <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen moves up. The other thing about Dear Evan Hansen, you've got Amy Adams, Ben Platt's voice, that one extra who is seemingly shocked to discover that this is a musical halfway through filming. Gosh, In the Heights and Tick Tick Boom were both so good. Corey Hawkins, Melissa Barrera, 96,000. It was gorgeous and I'm so sorry to do this, but I am gonna smooth Tick Tick Boom up. I rewatched Tick Tick Boom the other night and oh my god. Gosh. Okay, here's the thing with Ratatouille. Yes, Remy is the Ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. Unfortunately, 
Ratatouille is not winning that round, and Bridgerton is advancing. I think Taylor Swift has definitely been on everybody's playlists a lot, especially during quarantine. I feel like her lyricism and storytelling has definitely influenced music in a big way. I really like Taylor Swift, but by the sheer fact that she's not a musical, like I don't know why she's up here, I'm gonna have to move forward 36 questions. It'll give me a chance to talk about 36 questions, which I'm not sure I ever really got to do. Music Man versus Beetlejuice. This is brutal. I haven't seen the Music Man. I don't think I'm going to get to see the Music Man. I thought Beetlejuice was a lot of fun and a lot of great performances. <laughs> West Side Story versus Hamilton. This is so difficult because Hamilton came out at a time that I think we all really needed something to watch. The performances were incredible. It was a historical moment. But if I had to choose one to watch right now, it would be West Side. Okay, round two. Between Dear Evan Hansen and Beetlejuice, it's gonna be Beetlejuice for me. I also think Beetlejuice might be the musical that I'll associate with this chunk of time the most. Not just because of the Music Man saga, but it was the first musical to announce that they were closing during quarantine, and then it had this huge resurgence on TikTok, and now it's back! So, I feel like Beetlejuice definitely has to move forward. Wait, this is such a tough decision. And they're both so good, and it's so hard to compare everything when they're so different. But duh, that's the point of March Madness. I think I'm gonna move up Schmigadam. I'm so excited and curious to see what the future of the unofficial Bridgerton musical is. But if I have to choose one, you know that it's gonna be West Side Story. I'm very sorry, Bridgerton. I still burn for you. Okay, 36 questions. 36 questions is great. This had kind of a resurgence on TikTok, and that's what got me to actually listen to it finally. I'd been wanting to listen to it for years. It's a three-part musical podcast that's kind of like an audio drama concept album. I don't know, it's difficult to explain, just listen to it. It's free, and it's starring Jonathan Groff. That being said, you guys know what a huge Come From Away fan I am, so I gotta scooch it on up. We are in the final rounds, people. We've got Beetlejuice, Schmigadoon, West Side Story, Come From Away. Again, so difficult to compare. I love everything on the board. Between West Side Story and Come From Away. I loved West Side Story. I think Ariana DeBose was incredible. I think Rachel Zegler was incredible. I think they did such a phenomenal job of updating the film for today's audience. I loved seeing all the newsies there. However, Come From Away is going to be the victor for the right side going in to the final round. Okay, between Beetlejuice and Schmigadoon, I I think I've got to hand it to Schmigadoon. Oh, geez, could I hold on to this one second, please? Here we go, Schmigadoon and Come From Away. Interesting, they're both on Apple TV Plus. Schmigadoon versus Come From Away. I love Come From Away. Come From Away is in like the top three best productions I've seen in my life. I think it's so well done. I really recommend it. But I feel like we've had more time with Schmigadoon. Just get out of here, Beetlejuice. I feel like we've had more time with Schmigadoon simply because it came out earlier in quarantine. And it kind of gave us this escapist fantasy into a world that we really miss. A world where there's still musicals and you can go outside and Aaron Tveit's there. You know, the top three things the Broadway public wanted to see during quarantine. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed March Musical Madness 2022. Play along in the comments down below. Let me know who won your bracket. Thanks again to Karma for sponsoring today's video. You can click the link down below or visit shop.karmanow.com slash Steele slash three slash 22. Thank you, breath support. I hope you're having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.